Hi, we're, we're Delays, and you're watching Avenue 11. Here at Avenue 11, we thrive on bringing you the hottest bands and exclusive interviews. Well, these guys are white hot, let me tell you. They are called... The Delays. <laughs> delays. It's... Ah, oh, forget it. It's not the technical detail, you know. The Some of the, my favourite albums are recorded in, like, three days or something. I mean, we, we were told so many times to put on, I don't know, to wear different clothes and to move to London and do it. We didn't do any of that. You know, we just embraced what we were and just stayed with it. And there's a lot of like-minded people who really like the same things as we do. Colin and Greg from the band, pleased to meet you. Hello. Uh, nice we meet. are actually in the recording studio as we speak. We, we just are. finished doing a recording a session. Yes. Um, it's good to catch up with you guys because you've been pretty busy of late. Um, you're just about to embark on another tour. Yes. You're hitting the road in May. Um, but uh, we'll talk about the new single in just a second because that sounded really cool. But just give us a, a bit of a sort of a brief history. You guys have been together, what, 10 years as a band yeah. now, haven't you? Mm -hmm. But schoolmates before that. Yeah. How did it all start off? Um, it started off uh, for each of us in individual ways. It was just, you know, me stealing a book about the Beatles from the school library and seeing these hairy scousers with all these songs attributed to them and just saying, yeah, I want a bit of that. And uh, for, for, I don't know, for Cole, what was it for you, Cole? Um, I, I remember earliest memories of, like, of my dad playing like his old Motown records and stuff, and just every Sunday would be like the only day when the TV would go off, which is quite, <laughs> quite a sad indictment, really. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the TV would go off, and they'd spend the evening with my mum and dad playing like um, old Motown compilations and stuff. And I just remember, like at that sort of really early age, really picking up on it and thinking that the music was incredible. Tell us a bit about the album, because this was recorded in Spain, is that right, Spain, up in the mountains? That's right, up in Granada, yeah. Well, I mean, normally you play and you're in like, a room like this. Well, not so much like this, it's like a fallout shower. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you know, you don't get windows in, in rooms, you just have the control room doing to your producer and just doing that. Yeah. Um, but we recorded up in the mountains, and had, like a panoramic view of the mountain range. And, you know, the music was grand anyway. And uh, they, it just removed any, like, self-consciousness you know it, you know it makes you even smaller because i think that music's bigger than the band you know what i mean you can't really explain where it comes from and in that environment you feel kind of even more you know, small so it's like that. Uh, and the single's called hooray yeah uh, tell us a bit about it um hooray is a song about ocd uh which i was having a, quite a, a little time with and i had for like a couple of years um i was like having the pit litter up outside my house before I could go to bed, I'm like, I can't sleep knowing that that Minto's pack is outside. Does it pay yeah, but in fairness, your neighbours must have been so chuffed to bits. It's like we've got this guy that cleans the street, you know, well, we're not going to... Yeah, I know, but the trouble is you become in danger of becoming the weird man at the end right. of the road to all the youngsters. Yeah, and of course. I, I want having them. <laughs> so I went and had this NLP thing done, which is like a tap your neuro-linguistic programming. Okay. And yeah, it got rid of it in an hour. Wow. It's quite a miracle cure, actually. Um, but that's what that song's about. It was also about like just kind of I don't know, just getting back into the going out side of things because I don't know, I just tend tended to retreat, and sit at home reading, and every they, they they tell me what's going on in the world. And uh, you so we're talking about being out and about. You're going to be on tour. Um, yeah. you're, you're hitting the road, and um, pretty much in, in most parts of the UK. What's life like on the road for you guys? Um, I love it. Yeah, I think it's great. It's it's kind of um all your other responsibilities kind of are put on hold so it's kind of it simplifies your life in quite a lot, yeah. in a lot of ways because you just you, every day your focus is to do the gig and so everything else is kind of you know you don't have to worry about so many <laughs> things so it kind of gives you gives you something to focus on and takes away a lot of you know peripheral worries and stuff it's so it's kind of cool. adolescence isn't it? yeah yeah you just get <laughs> driven around then you know mess about for a while and then people clap and then you go to another place and it happens all again it's, it's amazing well guys best of luck seriously uh, with the single and the album uh, colin and greg from the delays thank you very much indeed thank, thank you, you guys cheers, cheers. Thank you. nice cheers to meet you thanks a lot